Right, okay, now as you can see, the mold and the plug do not want to part company easily. There are some areas inside there on these edges that are giving up, that's okay, but the whole thing isn't moving enough to remove it. That's not flexing outwards enough to pull it off the plug and the plug being steel and braced with angle iron, that's not moving inside and flexing away from the mold either. So neither of them are giving up any movement. So they're both staying where they are. That's my error. Now I've never done this before. I'm learning as I go. One of you gave me a very sound piece of advice, which was to make the mold in two halves to put a piece of profile wood down the center, make the right half, make the left half, and then separate them independently. Yes, that would have worked. But unfortunately that great piece of advice came in a day too late. I was editing the next video where this was just curing when that piece of advice came along. So unfortunately I haven't done that. That's what I've got. So what I've got to do is try and make this into two halves to salvage it. I don't just want to throw it away. I don't just want to destroy it and start all over again. I think the right thing to do is run a disc down the center, separate the two halves. Let's see if that works and go from there. Gotcha. Right, it does seem to be a mold release issue. This is the filler primer underneath. The gray stuff was the top coat and it's taken that off, stuck inside the mold. So clearly something with that mold release, four coats of wax, three coats of PVA, still wasn't enough somehow. Anyway, that's half of it off and it's not destroyed. It needs cleaning up on the inside, need all that sanding off, and it needs other attention, which I'll come to later, but that's one half. Let's see if we can get the other half off.
Q2. All right, a partial fail, shall we call it? Uh, walking wounded, maybe. There's about 30% of this has come away clear. And some of this filler that's left in here, this is the filler primer that is peeling off already. So it's quite possible I can get all that off inside there. We shall see. If I can, then it is usable because now it's a two piece mold. A modification to it is all it will need, provided I can clean it up. But if I can't, then it's not the end of the world because, well, the plug is actually okay. It's got some gouges on it from the screwdrivers levering that off, but not the end of the world. A quick Skinner filler, a sand back with the DA, and that'll be ready to use again. And I can make a fresh one from scratch if I need to, this time in two pieces properly. However, I've got both options and I'm gonna go with the cheapest option. So first of all, I'm gonna clean this up inside here. And then once it's ready, hopefully order some more fiberglass. And in the next one, I'll be able to make this a usable mold, hopefully. Let's get on with it.
Okay, there we are, pulled it back after all, really happy with that. The inside finish of that is fantastic now. All that material that was stuck in there came off with no more difficulty than gasket paper coming off an old casing. Just get a scraper, it all came off nice and clean and no damage to the inside. So I'm very happy with that indeed. Now the mold needs a little bit more work before it's usable. Sticking it together with masking tape on the day won't work. It's gotta be something better than that. So I've gotta get some more fiberglass and some more resin. And I've gotta laminate a lip edge on both halves of this so that when it goes together, it'll have a mating face. Just a little lip about an inch tall screw through that hold it together and at the end pull it apart and hopefully that will work really well and also there's a few other things to do to make this mold fully usable but I'm happy with the result so far an absolute save after a day that looked like an absolute fail so there we are that's it for today I'll see you in the next one hopefully if the laminate arrives I can do it otherwise it'll be something else see you next time